hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well and I'd like to thank you for listening. Because without you listening, there'd be no point in me making these recordings. And I'd be able to spend more time eating chocolate. <laughs> However much fun that might be, probably not that healthy for me. So, thank you for listening. If you haven't already done so, maybe subscribe to the podcast. Um, so that you're notified when new ones are released. So, yeah, we're going to do something a little bit different today, a little bit different. Even um, something that may seem ridiculous. But play along, humour me. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, first of all, get yourself into a position, I don't know, lying on your bed or sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body. Of course, you might want to lay down on a sofa, uh, you might want to lay down on the floor, whatever you want to do. And I will ask you to close your eyes. Now, of course, even though I ask you to close your eyes and um, I ask you to lay down and all this stuff, you can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to. You know, do what feels right for you. But if you're going to sit listening to this whilst uh, eating a sandwich then you are probably better to turn it off until you finish your sandwich you know give yourself the the best chance to benefit from the recording so I'm going to ask you now now that you kind of you know lay down and sitting down or comfortable I'm going to ask you to do the exact opposite to what you want to do and I'd like you to stick with it okay now trust me I'm not a doctor I should say, trust me, I'm not a politician. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? So, just get in touch with your body. Get in touch with how you feel right now. And I want you to focus on the part of your body where you feel the most stress or tension. So I'm just going to do like a little body scan of my body. And you can do the same. What I do when I do a very quick body scan, like an internal one, is I just kind of move through my body. My toes, my feet, my legs. You know, sometimes I'll start from my head and move down. And just go through the different parts. Now, if you've got a lot of tension... That's so sometimes it's going to be very obvious, and you won't need to search for your body for it. The same way is, you know, if you've got a huge pimple on the end of your nose, you're not going to have to search your face for the pimple. It's there. You can see it. It's obvious. It doesn't take a huge amount of time to 
There's no detective work required. Now sometimes the tension and the stress can be maybe connected with uh, other kinds of discomfort such as chronic pain. Now I'll say this as well, if you do have any physical pain in your body and it's not uh, in your memory, you can't f connect it to anything such as like an injury or anything like that and if it's persistent or if it's very painful, um, seek medical attention. Okay, uh, in fact, just maybe turn the recording off and seek medical atten attention. Don't do anything to mask the pain, uh, such as, I mean, you may need to take painkillers before, you know, you get to see the doctor or get to see a specialist. But just make sure that you're okay before you do anything to sort of take the pain away. Especially if it's like a pain in the chest or even like the stomach area. Um, just, it's, it's worth checking it out just to make sure that you're okay. And you probably will be okay, but it's worth checking it. Okay, because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical expert or professional medical practitioner uh, I've no I've got no medical experience I know a few things but we all do don't we I definitely wouldn't I don't know enough to <laughs> to even attempt to diagnose anybody so plus it's illegal so I wouldn't do that so the reason I mention it for this recording I wouldn't normally is because there may be a part of your body that's got stress and discomfort, but it almost it might be due to pain, physical pain. Okay. If that's the case, then we're not going to focus on the pain necessarily if you don't know what the cause is. However, if it's chronic pain, and for those uh, that don't know or are interested, the difference between the different pains. Acute pain is something that requires medical attention, generally. Unless it's... Uh, acute pain is a small version, would be catching your fingers in the door of a car. I say, you know, mild. I mean, obviously it depends. I mean, you could end up having to go to hospital with that, but it's extreme pain that subsides usually um, or a physical injury or something I mean we can all think of serious stuff so we're not here to do that but something where the f it's extreme pain and you can't there's no reason for it as well that's another thing which is acute pain so like appendicitis or uh, other things where you're like, well, I don't know what's going on. And then you've got things like arthritis, which is chronic pain. So it's kind of a mixture. It's there for a physical reason. But it's just continuing. So like a broken bone, acute pain, and then chronic pain. So you've got acute pain for the break. And then two weeks later, you can call it chronic pain, but it's not really because it, you know what it is. It's a broken bone that's healing. So you don't need to give it the term chronic pain. Chronic pain is for something that, you know, sometimes years later, it's still hurting. And there's not any reason for it necessarily. But maybe that broken bone has sort of created kind of an arthritis, you know, in that area. So, it, does that make sense? So, uh, again, I might be wrong. Broken bones can't create arthritis. 
I'm sure that's true as well, but the body's a strange thing. Now, I'm not trying to bore you to sleep by talking about stuff I don't know about, but it's just best to be a little bit careful when it comes to physical pain. Now, I have pain in my lower back, and I'm actually seeing a doctor about it next week for the first time, because over the last two years, well, since the beginning of last year, there's been no physical examinations <laughs> And I thought, well, what's the point of speaking to a doctor on the telephone about a lower back pain? You can't examine it. Can't send me to have it examined because no one's going to examine it at the moment. So I'm finally, and this is something that's been gradually deteriorating for about 20, 20 odd years. So I know that it's not acute. It's not a physical problem in a sense of something that needs medic urgent medical attention it's a bad back it's i don't know maybe a crumbling disc or spinal issues whatever but it's not um it's not that it's not important but it's not critical and most pains quite often aren't like chronic pain a dull aching or worse can be so many different chronic pain issues so chronic pain is when it just keeps on and on and on for years and there's not even there might not even be a cause for it or a, a logical cause but that's part probably part of the part of the reason now in this day and age we want to know answers my grandparents and their grandparents their parents you know going back 100 years 150 years People in their 50s, 60s, they get pains in their knees, in their joints. They just accept it. It's part of getting older. They get a bad back. They just accept it. It's got a part of getting older. Um, but back then they didn't have the knowledge. They didn't have maybe the treatment that's available. Well, they didn't have the treatment that's available now. I'm not sure how good leeches are. On bad backs. Good leeches and a good shave. I don't know. So. And you might think. Oh, what, what's he talking about? It's 12 minutes and he's not done anything yet. Don't worry. There's all. Uh, there's a method to my genius. <laughs> there's not. So. I guess if I hadn't mentioned chronic pain. I could have just got on with this. Without mentioning it. So, focus on your body. Now, it might be harder to get it now because I've kind of distracted you a little bit. It might be hard to find that tension or stress that was there before. It's, 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 it's turned into the Scarlet Pimpernel. It's just decided to hide or something like that. Um, so try and find it. It's a bit like, do you know those, what is that, that game? Is it pigs? Is it, I don't know if it's the, the, the policeman's ball or something, I don't know, but it's, it's this game where you hit with a hammer. I don't know if it's pigs, but you hit the, them with a hammer, but they keep like, disappearing as you go to hit it. I don't know what that game is. Um, Sergeant Hide Hideaway or something. I don't know what it was. But sometimes stress and tension can be like that. Once you... I think what it is is almost starting to clear away the forest. Clearing away the forest of tension and stress, like standard stuff, the fogginess of, uh, the daisiness, the the smog of just, you know, feeling tense and generally a little bit bleh. 
But then as that starts to clear, starts to clear and you you start to feel more relaxed. And even though you've got someone like me that might just seem like I'm talking absolute rubbish, which is a fair, it's, it's a fair judgment. Sometimes I understand why it would seem like that. And sometimes I do talk a lot of rubbish, not usually on these podcasts, but on my Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast, I do, I do nothing but talk rubbish. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've got no idea why I even have an audience, but hey. But here, is you know, there's, there's, there's reasons why I do things. It's almost like every time I go away and talk about something else, and, and then we go back to look for that stress and tension that was there before. It's like, where is it? I mean, just as I said that, I've got this feeling, this it's a physical feeling, moving down my spine and down my back, which is actually relaxing my lower back. I didn't ask for that. I'm not moaning. I'm not complaining, by the way. You know, like, well, you you so ungrateful. You're the ungrateful hypnotist. No, I didn't. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't um, wanting that. I mean, I'm glad that it's feeling relaxing. But the tension has done the same in my body. It's... And I hold a lot of tension in my lower back because of the chronic, I don't know what it is, it might be arthritis, I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out, I am. If it if it takes a year, I will find out because I just want to know. Then I can talk about it. And give me something else to moan about, won't it? I guess. Because that's healthy, as we all know. Yeah, right. But something's changed, even in my, if I can learn to speak again, even in my mind, I'm feeling clearer. Now, I don't walk around with a big foggy mind. I haven't got a big mind. I don't generally, sometimes I do, I wake up and I'm all over the place. My brain just, it takes a while to activate sometimes. But I'm feeling relaxed. Not relaxed as in um, slumped over, uh, almost like unable to do anything relaxed or wanting to just go to sleep relaxed. Which isn't really good for me when I'm making a recording, to be honest. Because I've done that and I fall asleep and it's... It's hard, it's practically impossible to make a recording when I'm actually on the verge of falling asleep. It's hard. I've done it many times, many, many times, but it's very hard. And I do fall asleep sometimes. And you wouldn't want to listen to that recording because I snore. Honestly, if you if you if you went to bed with me, you'd wake up thinking that you'd you'd woken up next to a dragon. Literally, the noise is awful. It's absolutely ridiculous. Seriously. Um, It's, but anyway, I'm distracted again. Okay, let's go back to try and see if we, is there any, 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 any feeling other than just relaxation? Because I can't find anything in my body. My body is... And I didn't... It's not that I didn't feel relaxed before, but I didn't really. I felt kind of average, sort of standard. You know, lower back was a bit achy. Shoulders were a bit tense. Back of my neck was. But now, um, not a lot happening, if I'm honest. My lower back feels really actually... It feels the same as the rest of my back. 
and it doesn't normally feel the same as the rest of my back. It's it's almost like it's uh, it's almost like that part of the country's broken away from the rest of the country and decided to give itself a different name. And this is our land now. We're going to call it something different until you invade us. And that's kind of what that part of the back seems to have done. But now, it's like, it's as if it's just said, oh, let's all be friends. Let's be friends again. We're neighbours. Oh. And it just feels really calm. I'm really calm. I'm not even joking. I'm not. I mean, yeah, I could sit here and lie. But what's the point? What am I going to get out of lying? There's no benefit to me. Zero. There's no li- There's no point lying unless you benefit. And because there's nothing I can lie about that will benefit me. There's no zero. I can't think of one thing. So. There's no point lying. It feels nice. Wow. This is the kind of feeling that I could be quite active in, like being awake and active. Not, I know that some people will feel really sleepy and some people may have already fallen asleep due to the conditioning of just being used to listening to me bore them. Let's, let's be honest. Um, sometimes... I'm not saying I'm exciting today because, you know, obviously not. But it can get boring. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the, the most uh, interesting speaker, you know, because that's not really what this is about. It's a I guess it's about trying to hold your interest and your focus but eventually, for those that are drifting off to sleep or that are tired, I won't hold the focus because the need to fall asleep will be much stronger than any uh, need or intention to listen to my voice. However, if you're listening to relax, it may be, it may be a different experience to what you're used to with my recordings. It just feels a little bit different, not like hugely different, just a little bit different, just a bit, ah. And that might be because I'm making a recording in the afternoon. I want to make recordings, well, I'm more awake during the day. If I make a recording in the evening, I'm going to be a bit more, uh, I don't know, just a bit more tired, a bit more maybe lethargic perhaps, or just a little bit slower, maybe... But because it's, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm feeling, oh. you know, three o'clock when I'm recording. It won't be three o'clock when you're listening. That sense of comfort for no reason, for absolutely no reason. And you don't need a reason to feel peaceful and comfortable and calm and relax. You don't need a reason for that. You deserve to feel comfortable, calm, relaxed and peaceful because you're a decent person. You live a decent life and you think of all the people you've helped in your life. Even people that don't know that you've helped them. That in itself 
means that you deserve to be happy, you deserve to enjoy feeling relaxed. You deserve to enjoy your life and to move away from things like shame and uh, guilt and move towards gratitude and appreciate appreciating yourself appreciating what appreciating what you do have instead of focusing you know which is natural for humans is to focus on lack focus on we, what we don't have what we do want but they're two different things Focus, focusing on what you don't have and focusing on what you want are two different things completely because you're more likely to get what you want by focusing on it we get what we focus on we attract what we focus on so focus more on the nice feelings that you experience the positive feelings of comfort and peacefulness in your mind and your body and you'll have more of that and the feelings can stay with you can stay with you feelings of comfort and calmness peacefulness and deep deep relaxation continuing to spread through your body and your mind I'm going to count from 10 down to 1 and as I count you can feel 10 times more relaxed with each number that I say and I'm going to say the word relax after each number which can be a trigger for you to let go even further and to allow those feelings of comfort, peacefulness to increase. Now, 10, 9, Eight, seven, Six, five, relax deeply. Four, relax deep. 